Hello and thanks for watching this series of videos on Acumatica 2020 R1. So in this video we're going to talk about some of the field service edition enhancements that Acumatica has made to 2020 R1. So the first one is travel time. So in Acumatica when we do a field service appointment and we get to the job we start the appointment and then we complete the appointment and based on our either our estimate or the start and stop time Acumatica calculates the amount of time that the field service person is on site and based on that can bill if your billing is based on time and material. But one of the gaps we've always had is the travel time. So we could start the appointment on the way to travel but you don't really get your costs hit correctly if you do that. So if we go to services and we take a look at our default service order type there's now a new field called default travel item. So essentially this default travel item is a non-stock item and that non-stock item is a service type and there's a checkbox here that says is a travel item. So you configure all your different travel items, give it all the preferences and settings that you need, for example the GL accounts that you're going to hit. And then when we create a service order, so let's create a new service order here. And we'll pick our customer. and we'll give ourselves an item so we'll add data backup now there's a few other changes here in the service order that are worth noting notice there's no inventory tab here so you can now pick an inventory item as part of the same tab it's not a separate tab so over here I could pick maybe a piece of equipment that I need in order to perform this backup and again now I can keep everything on the same page now the other thing is is our line status we now have a new status require scheduling we could schedule or require scheduling at a line item level which is very useful so once these items are scheduled the statuses will update accordingly and at the time that these particular items are completed and you'll see this more on the appointments tab the ability to complete or start a particular line item you'll see these statuses update into the service order. So now let's take this and let's schedule this. So we'll take a look at the service order we just created and we'll drag and drop it over to Maxwell Baker. We'll put him in the afternoon. And you'll notice that an appointment has been created. Now on my mobile device, I received a notification that my appointment has is, is been created and it's assigned to me. So that's something that Acumatica does. In fact, my watch actually indicated it as well. Moving forward, if I open up the appointment, I now have the ability to start travel. So you could start the appointment just like before, but I can start the travel. And with this, I can decide, okay, my time is 11.12. If I need to backdate it, I could if I have the rights. So 11.12, I'm starting the travel for Maxwell Baker. Obviously, I can check perform action for me, or I can perform it for other people assigned to this appointment. So I'll click OK here. And then once I get to the job, I can complete my travel. So again... 11.13, one minute, took me to travel. And this gets us to another new feature. There's now a log. So you can see here, this is my travel item. The status is currently completed. Previously, it was in process as I was traveling. You could see under details, my service item was added to the details tab. And on top of that, we now have new buttons to start specific items. So if I'm starting the backup, I can click Start here, and I'm going to be performing this work. And you can see my status now gets updated as in process. Now, if you look at Acumatica with its ability to have generic inquiries that show tons of different data, the ability to see each line item that it's in process or completed at any given time really gives you a microscope into what's going on in the company. So this could be very beneficial. 
Also, if you go back to your log tab, you notice now that our data backup is in process. And again, if I go back to the details tab and now I finish that particular item, I can now see that's completed and I could start the delivery of my inventory item and complete that as well. And now again, I could see under my law that's completed as well. So these are optional steps that give you the ability and based on the service order types, we can take a look at that in a second. They give you the ability to control whether or not these steps need to be started and stopped at any given point in time. Now if we take a look at the service order type, there's some additional settings here as well. So one of them is time behavior. So we have the ability to update the log based on the start time for the appointment, update the log end time when the appointment is ended. We can manage our time manually. So you have a number of different settings here that'll work and update your logs and get them refreshed as you need them. So once we're done, we can complete this appointment and close it. Keeping in mind that the closing process is done in the office, whereas the complete is done by the service tech. Now, under run appointment billing, we have a new option to bill to the project. Now this particular appointment or service order is a non-project code. However, the ability to have and let the project do the billing is a new feature that's been enhanced now so that you can let the project do its billing based on the billing rules of the project. You'll notice under my other info, I now have a batch number and I have my final invoice, which I can take a look at. And you can see the final invoice for $502. So that's it. Appointments, the ability to combine inventory items on one tab, the ability to log all our different preferences under the service order type. We can have additional log entries created here. If they're turned on, you'll see more. The ability to start travel and stop travel is now baked into Acumatica, all making everything a lot easier with our Field Services Edition. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any additional questions, our information is at the end of the video. Have a great day.